Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to uh, control the dynamics and actually compress what you're recording using mic position. We're gonna be using air as a compressor. So you may have noticed this happening. Uh, if you ever record drums and you put microphones across the room, you know, the microphone across the room is going to be less dynamic than a microphone right over the kit or close to the drums. Same thing happens with acoustic guitar. If you have a microphone that's a meter away from the acoustic, it'll be a little less dynamic than a microphone that's really close to the strings. And so I wanna kind of show you a couple examples and really just kind of give you some practical applications of how you'd use this. Now, in any case, you wanna think about how you would mix the material that you're recording. I always like to think that you mix as you record. You have to be thinking about how you're going to mix down the line. Now, I wanna show you some examples and pay attention to the distance of the mic to the acoustic guitar and how much compression is actually happening naturally through the air. Check it out. Okay, so the closest example to the acoustic guitar is really dynamic, you know? It has a lot of punch to it. That would be fantastic for any sort of solo, a bluegrass kind of solo, you know? That would be the position, right? Lots of dynamics, it really pokes out. But if the acoustic guitar player is playing uh, like a strumming part, then that would just be too dynamic. It would almost be really odd and kind of difficult to mix. And then when you use uh, a compressor, it really would work harder than it needs to be. So we can back up the mic. We can naturally sort these things out. And then when we go to compress, we have to use less of that processing and hopefully get a better result. Of course, we can do other things like change the pick, uh, change the instrument, uh, the string thickness. I mean, there's lots of different things we have to consider. But just 
taking into the variable of microfilm position, we can see that this distance is really having a cool effect, depending on what you need out of your recording. And this concept could be applied elsewhere, vocals, drums, other acoustic instruments. The closer you get, the more dynamic you're going to be. Now, if you have a treated room, then you have some options. You can back up the mic, you can scoot it in closer. So this is really where the basics of recording come into play. And if you have a treated room, then you have options as far as the distance you can use. And if you can use air as a compressor, because the room isn't an issue, now you can do less processing with your compressor. And hopefully get a little bit better result during mixing. So there's a cause and effect, A to B to C. Room treatment, leads to better mic position, leads to better processing or minimal processing for a more natural sound. Okay, that's kind of the cause and effect. So I'd love to know what you think of this. I'll be hanging out in the comments below. Yeah.